Just feel good, good and look good, feel good. Hey you guys, it's been two weeks and we're back. I and feel we're more back. humiliated with you watching than <laughs> with Val. <laughs> it's so it's like way darker. You're gonna make fun of me for like the rest of my life. Uh, that's your birth. <laughs> I feel like I might even be breaking out of bed. <laughs> it's like your chest, oh, your it's legs. Rude. It's rude. <laughs> Not even Bert, just having social anxiety. Well, if we're gonna be performers, we have to be able to perform in front of anyone. Anybody. Um, okay, then I said that. Here we go. Okay, hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Aiden. And this is... As always, Rose Rose. It's been two weeks. And you didn't we're, miss us. You didn't, but we're still here for the right reasons. And we missed you. The cliffhanger really led up to Chad being a piece of shit and scaring all the boys and it turned out to be literally nothing. It was just a gamble to get us to tune in after two weeks of not watching. And it worked. But it was boring. And it didn't have to happen at all. Jojo wasn't there for it. Mm -hmm. Jordan tried to make Chad apologize to the mm -hmm. man and he was like, I'm fine. I actually still hate you. I'm going home. And then um, Alex got a very celebratory welcome back that was excessive if you ask me. There were cupcakes that they wasted and fireworks that they used. Which and was, I was a like, full fire hazard. We get it. And you're short, so we don't care. I just don't understand. I just feel bad for Jojo because whenever he kisses her, it's like a face on her face. It's really 95 10. She's just <laughs> like, I'm merely just here existing. Well, so Jojo, and I think that you noticed this as well, she's like gotten into this mode where she's fully scripted and she's like, I'm here for love, but I'm also here for a career after this. I'll be a newscaster. I'll be dancing a weather with woman. Stars. Weather dancing woman. with the stars. She wants to be a game show host, I think. She's For very sure. much like, and your prize to date me is a trip to Ecuador, where everybody loves hanging in the sun. Congratulations on making it to the next round, gentlemen. Today we'll be going to Uruguay. <laughs> they were promised to go to sunny Ecuador, and they turn up, and it's fucking raining. Yeah, really overcast, and she goes on the one-on-one -on -one date with... Jordan. Jordan. Which looked awful. It was on a boat. They were sealing the deal. Seal watching. Nice. It was awful. Cool pun. It wasn't mine. That was in the envelope. Copy that. <laughs> they were on a boat. They hooked up. Like, it looked so cold. Like, literally, she was like, I'm just gonna get right behind the wind. This is a dumb question, but can you be nippy if your boobs are fake? Dumb question. Yeah. They're not related. There's more surface area when it's stretched out like okay, that. Great. Way colder. So he got another rose, which mm -hmm. was like pretty romantic. Oh, she called him out though. She was like, I have a friend who dated a friend who dated you, and she said you're trash. Care to explain? And he's like, yeah. He was like, first let me take a sip of my alcohol, uh, rearrange my quaff. quaff, look you dead in the eyes and say, I don't know what you're talking about. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Even if, like, they're probably gonna get married, and then they'll probably get divorced in two months because, like, he's the same as he'll always be. And, and he's he an that... pro athlete and he's just not his brother. Yeah. And he was like, I'm basically feeling feelings for you. And she's like, good enough. Here's a rose. Yeah, she'll take whatever she can get. And that brings us to the next point of this two-hour nothingness of an episode. They found a magazine while Vinny was cutting their hair because he's a barber. If anyone watches Unreal, this was literally a storyline from an episode. A producer gave them that magazine and was oh like, can God. you talk about this for three hours? And nothing happened. So wait, what ha like JoJo's ex-boyfriend said was saying, to He was saying that they, like, basically he was saying that the only reason she went on the show was to find love mm -hmm. and that she broke up, or not to find love, to find fame, and mm -hmm. that she broke up with him to do that and that I this mean, is all fake. Okay, well, I've I just never seen a group sure. of men really dissect and in touch that deeply before. Listen, like, they're all so embarrassing, and there's not a single one of them that I think is cute anymore. And Vinny is and Michelle Money of the season doing their hair for them. Great reference. Thank you. And then they went on the group date, which was Sam surfing, which they did for 30 seconds. Nothing really happened. It started to rain. Mm -hmm. Everybody went home. Mm -hmm. I expected them to play, like, another round of touch football or, like, toss the old... Sacks. Sports. Sports. I don't know. One of the things. I'm not really sure, but I'm sure that they, um... Loved every second. <laughs> They're pure athletes through and through. Sure. Anyway, <laughs> this brings us to our next point. Our next point. Yeah, the last point. Um, or one of the last points, I guess. What happened? Um, that guy went on the date. Sure. Quaff, quaff, no hair. Mm -hmm. Robbie? Yes. Robbie. Robbie went on the date. He, like, showed how dangerous he is by convincing her to jump five feet off of a rock into the ocean. It looked awful <laughs> and cool. It was very trust except, like, whatever. The takeaway is that... 
You have to leave if you're gonna <laughs> laugh at me. We're good. Okay, um, they jump off this cliff. It could have been romantic, except like, I don't think she's adventurous and- I, I don't even think she's that into him. Like, I, I feel it. Like he like told her he loved her and he kept being weird. He was like, let's wish for somebody to give somebody a big rock. Now let's throw a penny into the fountain to make that wish come true. Do these guys ever play hard to get? Or is no. it just like, here's my heart, it's on the table, and also I'm in love with you, and also, like, do you have any siblings? I feel like each of the guys goes to their, like, producer and is like, I think I'm gonna play hard to get, and they're like, here's the thing, uh, you're gonna be playing the role of a huge pussy, and uh, that's what we're gonna do, okay? Mm -hmm. So throw out your idea and do what I just said. And they're like, go, okay. I love that Alex is becoming the villain now, the more confident he gets. Like, he thinks that he's doing really well at finding love, but he's just doing well at being good he television. Loser. Yeah, he's well like a small loser. Yes. Tiny. Big pussy. So a big storyline after the Us Weekly in touch scenario was um Derek being a huge loser. Right? Oh yeah, Derek was Baby like, Blues having I no don't like confidence you guys. at all. Yeah. And like pulling them aside, saying like, that. John they're Krasinski, clean. believe in yourself. Yes, and also like what do you care if they're friends and yeah. you're not part of the friendship? They're group? all going home one at a time anyways. And like, have a little chutzpah, you know? Like, I love when each of them know we're like, I'll never see you again. It's like, you're actually gonna do bachelor events for the rest of your lives. You're going on the cruise boat like month two of you coming yeah. to this. You'll see each other at an event every single month. And like, I um, know you're all praying for bachelor in Paris. Oh, you're a medical salesman? No more. <laughs> you do live events. Throw that title out the window. And uh, honestly, like, this is we're like really stretching in here. I really. had nothing to say this whole time, so the fact that we go on for ten minutes is like far and beyond what yeah. I thought we would be able to do. But what else happened was the rose ceremony, which was incredible. I've been waiting for Fugly Evan to go home since day one. He looks like someone who worked on set. Like one day he was wandering through, he's like, "Muffin, anyone? Can I get you a juice?" And he like, literally looked like a PA. Yeah. And then he was. They're just like, "Give like, me your headset. Get in there." We're short one guy, you're disgusting, people yeah. will hate you, Ugh. just go on screen for a second. Ugh. <laughs> she sent him packing, she also sent George? Vinny. Vinny. And? That, Grant. Grant? Okay. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. Nice. Um, a bit of like a plot twist for me was Wells sure. really like snuck in there. Yeah, I think she just thinks that he's like funny and sweet and like... Nice. A friend. Yeah. She's like, someone's got to hold my hand through this, it's garbage. Anyways, Vinny went home, Strong Jaw, and Evan, which was like, thank A blessing. God. I feel like producers were like, okay. Enough's we, enough. Enough's enough. I feel like his producer was like, please. Like, I don't want to spend any more time with him either. Ugh, yeah, like, I'll go home too. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm good. Um, They're like, no, it's five grand if he makes it another round. She's like, like, I can't, I can't. Fuck it's it. It's not worth it. He left and he cried and I just wanted him to not exist anymore. Anyways, yeah. you know we hate him. It's fine. Um, and then that was the end of the episode. Yeah. Right? Yeah, nothing else happened. Wow. Thank you so much for bearing with us through this yeah. piece of shit episode. <laughs> we can tell that this episode will be, like, truly our best. Please don't make us wait another week again. Every single name that's You're been erased us. from my mind. You're losing us. We had no idea what was happening and like we didn't even really care. We're At this point, like, like I don't care if Jojo finds love or not. I really don't. I don't. Her journey is not my my thing. Like I'm not rooting for her. Just to say. Oh, our time's up. It's been. <laughs> and that is our time. That's Tune in next week. See you then.